Hey guys, what is up? This is Damien here with a short video on how to properly install Creature Follower ESP. Um, this is by far my favorite mod on the Nexus mod site right now for Fallout 4, which is an amazing game by the way. And I've seen quite some people struggle with how to get this to work properly within the game, some people's game crashing while they're enabling it, so I figured I'd make this short video and uh, explain on how to get it done um, I will show you how to get it done and if you run into any problems just follow the steps in this video and you should be fine what we want to do first is head over to nexusmods.com in the search button search for creature follower ESP and hit the search button open the mod page and head over to download manual we're going to download manual the main files. We're not going to bother with the optional files right now, but if you want to add other creatures that are not within the base pack, make sure to download that one. It will be updated regularly, so check out if your favorite animal is in the new section for the optional files. We're going to download manually. Within seconds, you will have a RAR file with all the files that you need. Hit Extract to. Extract it into your Fallout 4 main folder hit OK. I already have it installed so I'm going to hit No. You of course are going to install it right into that folder. Once you have this all installed go over to your Fallout folder make sure that the Sean named files are all within the main folder of Fallout and go to Data. In Data make sure that Sean ESP is located there. If you have all that, perfect. Open your Nexus Mod Manager. Make sure that you activate the ESP file called Sean and click the launch button to start up your game. The most amazing thing about this mod of course is that it does not take up a follower slot which means that you can still run around with your dog meat but also with one of your favorite animals within the Fallout universe. Say you want to run around with a Deathclaw, you can and you don't have to worry that you can no longer bring any followers. So once we're in the game there is a very important step. You need to have a reference ID selected. That means that you will have to click anything in this world just so the game knows that we're messing with some files. In my case I have my trusty coffee cup already set up. Uh, my coffee cup being the best assistant in modding ever. I will click the coffee cup and I will get this reference ID. Once you see this reference ID type in console bot Sean and the animal you want to have. In my case I would like to have a cat and hit enter. A whole lot of text is gonna go there. Don't even bother about it. It is fine. Hit the console button and go to your map. Fast travel to any location on the map. And once it is loaded there should be a new creature. Now for some of you you will get your follower creature right away. For others it won't work. Um, for me somehow the stack always appears. This is the default animal on which the mod was based. So hit the console again, click the stack. It will say a reference ID with EP behind it and type bot Sean Cat in my case again and hit enter. As you see the stack now changed into my Sean Cat. So it works. Um, if you did not select any item like the coffee cup, your game will crash. It is normal, it's just because the game needs that reference ID and the cat is working right now. So I hope this is a short explanation on how to do it. If you run into any issues, make sure to post it in um, the post section of Nexus Mods and one of us will be happy to answer questions for you.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video informative and that you are now roaming the wasteland with your favorite follower and am able to enjoy this amazing mod. It was my first how-to video. I am not native in English, so go easy on me. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section on YouTube. And of course, I've seen a lot of people wondering how can I name my animal a certain name? How can I, I don't know, give my death claw a mooing Brahmin sound? It is possible. It is, however, an advanced step that I will not explain in this video. So make sure to click the link in the description to my advanced customizing the creature follower ESP and it will explain how to name your cat Jackster <laughs> like my cat and make them mouth like you just heard. Again, possible, not for the faint of heart, advanced step and the description is in the link down below. Thank you for watching and see you all online.